Howdy, and welcome to the round table for Red Dirt D and D. I'm Michael Cross, Connor Schnold, Kiri Esther, Aiden Cross, Brooke Bullock, Johnny Payne, Kim Cross. Yay! Woo! Woo! I'm gonna get mic'd up now. We survived. Uh, yeah, maybe that'd be Michael a good idea. I, I forgot we were recording the round table. I thought we were going straight to recording. <laughs> 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 I tried to do for a minute there. I was like, uh, Can you hear me, Michael? Yeah, pull up. Right? Wait, what are we doing? Okay. <laughs> I'll go get my lanyard out of the car later. And so we're talking about episodes 26 through, nope, 25 through 28, all Brooke episodes. Yay! Yay. Yay. I know that guy. <laughs> Brooke, <laughs> such an awesome job of DMing for us. And what were your thoughts? How did, how did it go for you? Um, well... I must say that after a, a moment happened, it was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> there was there was a moment in which we took a we took a break, you uh -huh. know, from from recording for just a minute for all the necessities. That uh, Kim saw me just throw my notes behind well, my did shoulder. That on, we have yep. that in the outtake. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yep. Because we did what uh, DMs out there. If you ever want to be a DM, get ready for this. Players just kind of doing their own thing. Oh, it was the dice. It was the dice. Mm, but then on the flip side of that, what an incredible crew. You guys uh, really helped save that whole arc uh, just because you kind of kind of went with it. Um, except for maybe Kim. I was super concerned for a minute. <laughs> Kim was going to get everybody killed. Yes. Uh, Me too. But I'm just wanting to immediately fight the dragon right, uh, right, right, by, yeah. by yeah. herself, single-handed. Which but. is why I held back and was like, I better see what this party <laughs> likes to do. Because, <laughs> the, the, the game is Dungeons and Dragons, not Dungeons and, oh, look at that dragon safely in the distance. Right? <laughs> I think had, if not, had we not... Rolled all rolled horribly <laughs> on our, oh, it on our saves. Yeah, 100%. we probably would have been okay. Hundred percent. But every one of us failed our saves except for the Beatrix. Tabaxi, mm -hmm. yeah, who with the rogue gets no, no damage, damage at all, no damage whatsoever. So <laughs> in, in and what's funny was great about this was Kim was actually talking to me as we were driving down. I think it was that day. Yes, saying, oh. You know, I have this evasion, and I never use that. And she ends up using it twice, <laughs> several times, for yes. a breath, breath weapon and for a fireball. I was yes. so excited because it was just sitting there being useless. And <laughs> well, one of the things you do, uh, you know, is, is that you, you look at your at, at stats and you look at abilities, and you uh, hopefully you do at, at your at your player characters, and and you really want to try to find a way to to showcase them and highlight them. And we've had this run joke a little bit about uh, Twitch always looking to raise dead. Right. And I mentioned in episode 24 in the last round table, I mentioned that I had a big note of, you know, Twitch is going to raise dead because they're humanoids, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so that was really fun uh, when he gets a chance to actually bring a zombie you know, into the hangar of this Githyanki basically spell gargantuan spell jammer um, and play with that. Uh, Kim got to use some evasion with that. Um, it didn't quite work out the way we wanted it until later, episode 28, when we got to see some of the magical abilities of Connor's bow, of mm. uh, Jaska's bow, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and and so on and, and so forth, you know, with, with those characters. Um, and even Aiden pulled out something that Zionti just <laughs> got, because Zionti was playing, uh, <laughs> Aiden was playing Zionti, that I had actually forgot, oh yeah, I can do that now. I, uh, <laughs> I might regret that decision for later because I have to take up the DMing chair next and Mr. <laughs> Mr. Brook over here is going to use that against me. It's a precedent. You, you set it up. Yeah. So. Yeah. so we're going to see a giant, giant ape Zionzi once again probably. Giant ape Zionzi. Uh, and uh, Billy was busy freeing fairies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. That, that is the spoiler recap of all of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Heading back to episode 25. Five. And the the dragon effect, um, I, you know, I, I, I thought this is going to be great. You guys in the episode before wiped out three Gith Yankee, right? Um, which collectively had about 150 some hit points mm -hmm. and just maybe closer to 100 and just boof. And I was like, in three rounds, I was like, you know, they're going to have the action economy on me versus one opponent and a dragon who, yeah, will be able to do some big ticket things. <laughs> but they got this. And then as a DM, you hear, I'm down. 
I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. And I'm like, oh, golly jeepers, Batman. Well, it was the okay. Yeah, that so, was actually, so, yeah there's, there's a reason. It's yes. called the surprise round. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't have the surprise <laughs> on everyone, it would have been different. If it would have just been like a straight up combat, maybe people could have got out of the cone in time, yeah. but surprise round really got everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and when the 20, that, was, that was actually 26. In 25, oh, so I want to talk about 25, <laughs> because 25 was where we left oh, off yes. in the episode before was, where do we go? To find um, this cat, find the cat. Oh, oh, yes. Like where you've never gone before. before. There we go. And so where no furry has gone before. <laughs> uh, we should think about that one for a title for one of the shows. <laughs> we, might, we might draw a different crowd with that title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the idea is that now we have to try to figure out how to get to space. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, which is not, I mean, it's not very easy in it. Techni- not technologically <laughs> advanced. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really wanted to open up the idea of, of Spelljammer and then planes and that, that there are just lots of places um, out there in the world. Lots mm-hmm. of places that these characters could go, you know, in the future, uh, different arcs uh, as world building to let the audience know that there's more than just... Uh, the 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 world that that has the things we've seen so far, um, and and I thought spell jamming is a is a cool way to do that. Uh, plus, it's a throwback to first edition that <laughs> yeah. you know was the kind of introduced that idea. So yeah. Did so. How did you guys feel about meeting your first gif? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was I think it was Aiden who in the Discord chat and and a couple of things, you know, talked about the aliens, the aliens, the aliens, and in the Discord I posted uh, a little a little picture montage of the way I described them. They did sound very much like the gray, you know, mm-hmm. from and with the eyes and, mm-hmm. and that yeah. kind of thing. Maybe not quite as big, but once once I was re listening to it, I'm like, oh yeah, totally right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Well, and, and that's what I the, the, the idea that these are creatures that we have never seen before in this world. Yeah, how do you describe them? And how do you, it, it's alien, regardless of whether they're actually from another planet or not. Mm-hmm. They're they're alien to us because we've never seen anything like this before. And they were aggressive. It wasn't like running into the Githari, yes. which are typically lawful. They're in nature, so they're typically good, uh, but. Uh, yeah, no, these, they were out to get us. A hundred percent. And, and also, um, you guys just did a great job. Um, I mentioned this before too, that Aiden and Johnny just did a fantastic job of me giving a couple of um, notes on the side saying, Hey, you know, it, it's panic, just run with it. And it was just hilarious. I just love it. <laughs> it's always really fun to do. And it's, it's just like, Hey, here's an unscripted moment of act this way. And then just. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Go with it, yeah. Hey, pumpkin. I th- that always gets me every <laughs> yeah. time. Hey, oh. pumpkin. Cr- so I was running around, and I, was, and I said, hey, and then pumpkin showed up, and I said, hey, pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it funny. Every time. Mm-hmm. And pumpkin was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Running from some weirdos? Cool. And pumpkin was stolen. <laughs> well, you should have led with that. I tried to lead with that. No, you led with ah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. There's just great so moments good. around the table with that um, going on. And I love also the characterization that Twitch brought again, that Johnny brought again. Whenever um, we get to the boat. Twitch is climbing up into the captain's chair. He's totally gonna <laughs> yeah. pump some arcane energy into this thing, uh-huh. and then I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Blackjack, you take over. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this can be dangerous. I'm yeah. out. You know, Twitch totally chickened out. Yeah, <laughs> which is why I was there. I knew he was gonna. Do it. <laughs> He's not a brave rat. <laughs> it, it ties back so much to the teasers of Twitch, you know, from before episode one of of. Of uh, his his faux boldness, and then you know, well, there's no need for violence, you know, right? That yeah. thing. So he's great. It's like, how dare you turn your back on me when I'm talking? And then they turn back around. And he's like, no, no, I was kidding. Sorry. Go ahead. You, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a drink. Because like, yeah. the goal was, I hoped you keep walking away from me. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, how was it to have this kind of modified? Uh, spell jammer helm sort of for blackjack. I love that and I, I love the fact that when uh, you said okay just put a cantrip into it I was like well I've got mage hand and the idea of having oh, yeah. using mage hand to kind of guide the ship out so basically sending my power through the ship to be able to guide it was it 
usually you don't get that with, with Spelljammer. That's not really described as well. What kind of spell do you use to, to, to power it? So I think the idea that uh, if... Well, Jessica didn't have any uh, cantrips, <laughs> but no. you know, if, if Twitch were to sit, Twitch could use a different cantrip yes. to Actually, try to guide. Do you have cantrips? I do because of uh, Swarm Keeper. I do also have Mage Hand. Oh, <laughs> oh. Mage Hand this entire time. Yeah, I just don't use that. I just don't use it. <laughs> it doesn't come up all that often. It really doesn't. Why Mage Hand when you can oh, just thanks. send Blueberry to do it? I know. Yeah. Exactly. I could have used uh, Infestation and just hit like. Oh, yeah, like, just that would have been. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Crawl down into him. That would have been awesome. Nice. That would have been really That's cool. That's nasty. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Glad that didn't happen. <laughs> and yeah, and so we get we get do get it flying, and oh my gosh, we jump jump right into some space battle that's going on. We've got dragons popping out of the. I was thinking we're going ship. to Kryn. I'm like, we're going to Kryn. Woo! We're going to Kryn. <laughs> and then we. Yeah. Um, I, I do love our propensity to just ignore everything. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are smart. You know if there are some weird tentacle ships. <laughs> yeah. No, nope, I'm not. That's that's between the dragons and whatever those creepy things yeah. are. That's not our are problem. Not. We are here for pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're on a fetch us quest. Get pumpkin out. That is it. <laughs> Actually, fetch quest only. Somebody looks over and goes, "Hey, there's a big battle down there. Should we get involved?" It's like, mm, hmm. that doesn't sound like us. <laughs> 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 I'm here to kill eight rats. I'm not into your politics. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go get pumpkin. Who and knows what the future holds? But you guys, right now, we are very much the Guardians of the Galaxy group. Like we're just like, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. we're on a special thing over here. The Avengers can take care of that. You, you know? do you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love the fact that the dragons seem to be coming at us. And yes. so we had to make sure they knew that we're on their side. Hey, <laughs> so we sent the zombie up. It's a wave. <laughs> <laughs> Universal sign of we're your friend. <laughs> and dragon. <laughs> we, we, I just love, like, in my head as, as Johnny did that, I just had, I knew one of the dragons was like, oh, God, it's Ted. Or Bob, you know. Or Bob. Okay, I will Bob. say you, you <laughs> Jerry said, the Githyank guy. Yeah. It's like oh, Jerry's back. That guy. So that character's name was like Garthun Jem. Yes. But when you the first couple times you Yarkun said Jim. Yeah. Yes. Well, when you said it in recording session, I thought you were saying Yarkun Jim. I thought his name was just Jim. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's Jim. And oh, so when I, was, was a rank. when I was listening back uh, to it in the you know to lead up to this recording, I realized that that is not what you were saying. <laughs> but I like that his name is just Jim. Just Jim. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> yes, when I love our, our weekend at Bernie's moment where yes. we send him up to the prow of the ship yes. and wave to the dragon. Yeah, it seemed to work. I don't know. It Did, is. Was that was that, was that planned that, or were they actually coming at us and then were, they were going to they die? They were totally going to do the the aer aerodynamic nose dive okay. and, and attack totally from the beginning. And I love okay. putting in the audio of the space battle that yeah. we can yeah. actually yeah. have so that going good. on. You yeah. gotta use so many space sounds. I know. Well, and and you play Starfinder. And you actually got to do <laughs> that would be awesome. You actually got to do the metal guitar riff in there. Yeah. Yes. That. It was really yes. really cool. I'm, you there, know, there's a lot of music and sound effects I've not been able to use yeah. because it just doesn't fit for what we're doing. More oh. fantasy type of, of stuff, but uh, or <laughs> even think, western. It's just it, the the sci-fi stuff just doesn't come in. You have been heard, Michael. Was that was <laughs> that Final Final Legends would do one shot Starfinder. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be really really just, cool. Just your spell jammer. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. could just do spell jammer or just do another spell jammer one. You guys, let us know out there. Send in word. Like, what do you want to see? That would be very very cool. Yes. So. Very very cool. Um, uh, we we actually got a. We're going to talk about the dragon that almost killed us. Yes. Uh, and uh, why why a dragon was on a spaceship in the first place? What do you do with a gun? This in space? is true. And that was something, Connor. You as a player, I think, didn't necessarily know the lore of that. Like, why are there red dragons with them, right? Or well, is that just Jaska? The Jaska. Yeah. Yeah, so so uh, we're going to talk about all this uh, on the other side. We've got we're at the fifteen minute break here. So wow. if you want to listen to this full hour where we talk about the rest, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, then you have to become a Patreon member right now. It's real simple. Just go to patreon.com slash red dirt d n d patreon.com slash red dirt d n d or search for red dirt d n d on Patreon. 
You can join at any level. $5 a month gets you the episode four days early. It gets you access to our Discord server. It gets you the full version of this roundtable. But other levels, oh my gosh, you could get a free t-shirt. You could get a free mini from Woo! us, one of our characters. You could even get your sound, your, your voice right here on this podcast. So... Look over at patreon.com slash reddirtdnd. Sign up at any level, and we will see you in just a minute. We are going to the full version of the roundtable right now. <laughs> 